What is up, my friends and family? I'm Charmix, and today I'm gonna <coughs> today I'm gonna be reacting to five incredibly creepy and unexplained events caught on camera by the one and only Top Fives. Now, uh, Top Fives, for those of you who aren't aware, make some very awesome videos and very creepy videos at the same time. And the creepy videos that Top Fives make always end up freaking me out because they get really creepy. So, uh, yeah, I have, like, a love and hate relationship with the creepy videos because I love them, but at the same time, I hate them because they freak me out. It's kind of like, you know, uh, my relationship with horror movies. I love them because they're scary, but I hate them because they, they freak me out and they make me paranoid for, like, a couple days after seeing them. So I guess this is gonna be one of those kinds of videos, uh, which I haven't seen in a while from Top 5s, but... Hopefully it's going to be quite awesome. And uh, yeah, with that being said, the original link's in the description. Make sure you go subscribe to Top 5s if you haven't already. As well as go get their magazine if you're interested. That link's also in the description. And without any further ado, let's begin. Does my face look like redder than normal? I'm looking at the camera here and it looks like there's a lot more pinkishness to it. And I'm pretty sure I burnt the crap out of my face yesterday. Here are five incredibly mysterious photographs and videos. Many of which I'm sure you've never seen before. Hopefully, hopefully that's the case because I know like in a lot of uh, creepy videos uh, I like reseed clips that are used over and over but top fives is pretty good at you know Getting like fresh ones in the uh, mix as always sit back and enjoy What did what? This footage was caught in the Piedmont region of North Carolina in 2013 The camera was being used to track deer to see if they were active in the area while this particular one was motion activated, and when the owner looked back at the footage the following day, he noticed a young girl appeared on one of the frames. Oh, that's the terrifying. The girl appeared at around 7pm, and if you look closely at the top right corner, you can make out the image of a man behind a tree. People have oh, yeah, pointed out so. that the girl does not appear to be dressed appropriately for the weather at the time. Also her face. This is already freaking me out, you guys. This is already freaking me out. Look at her face. That Thought to be around 60 degrees. No. And she doesn't seem to have shoes on. She only appeared in one frame. And although this may not seem strange at first, this was taken on private property, which belonged to the guy whose camera this was. And no local houses or even paths are within half a mile. The question is, who is she, and what was she doing in the middle of nowhere, on private land? Some have, of course, said that she and the man could be ghosts. Others think maybe they were just lost and walking around. To date, it's still unexplained, and the man said that it hasn't been tampered with in any way. What do you think? That is freaky. That is freaky. This is what I mean when I have a love and hate relationship with top fives. They freak me out. They freak me out. But at the same time, I, I like it. So, I don't know. I don't know. On to the next one. On to the next one. Virginia Ghost. This next image was caught on a motion sensor camera outside a property in rural Virginia. Another one? The camera normally records in color, but apparently the color was drained out of this image even though it was captured in daylight. Similar to the trail camera, this security camera takes still photos and is triggered by movement. What's even stranger about this image is that there are other cameras around the property, but this figure was not seen on any of them. Although this image is not colored, the frame captured just 15 seconds after this one had That's full color. Freaky. At first it was thought that it was someone skinny dipping in their swimming pool but the video camera that looks directly over the pool caught nothing. Others think it could just be a glitch or a bug. That ain't a glitch. That ain't a glitch. No glitch looks like that. But the owner is looking for answers. What year was this taken in? Oh, that was very short. That was very short. And what year was that taken in? Because it didn't really... Did it say? If it did, I totally gaffed it. Connect camera ghost. This next one was uploaded by paranormal investigator Keith Weldon to his channel, Weldon Paranormal. The clip is from an investigation Weldon and his team were called to in Rockland, California. The owner of an antique store believes an antique couch she had in her possession was haunted after she had experienced some strange activity around the building. Are you surprised? Are you surprised that there's something haunted in an antique store? I mean, if anything's gonna be haunted, it's an antique store. 
The team set up a Kinect camera and waited. Initially, nothing out of the ordinary happened, but when the store owner started playing some old style music on an antique gramophone, something bizarre happened. I wonder what kind of music they played. Like, they said old style. I mean, was it like, you know, Eminem? Because that's pretty old. I mean, rap nowadays is nothing like Eminem. Take a look. And then it has that figure over there. It looks like it's dancing again. <laughs> Like, literally, like, got rhythm and, like... Oh, yeah. He ain't missing a beat, man. <laughs> tapping the toes. Yeah. After the music gets turned off, this figure appears once again, this time sitting on the couch. It seems to be leaning back with its arm hanging over the side. That's freaky. Yes. With its arm on the... Yes. <gasps> you just grabbed her. She's <gasps> It's holding your hand. I know. Nah, nah, you gotta get out of this place. You gotta get out of this place. The figure appears to be dancing in the left hand corner of the screen. Then, when the music stops, the figure moves to the couch and seems to drape itself over it. Then, it seems to hold the hand of the store owner, and when she gestures it, the figure seems to hug her. I'm not sure about Kinect cameras, but some swear it's the best way to monitor paranormal activity. What's your take on the footage? I don't know, and uh, I don't want to know, because that's quite freaky. Also, I hope you enjoyed that little meme I put in there. Colorado Street Bridge. Okay. This next video is a strange one. It was taken by YouTuber Cora MK2, who among other videos, uploads dashcam footage taken while riding his motorbike. While this particular piece was captured on Colorado Street Bridge in Pasadena, a concrete arch bridge that spans the Ario Seco. Despite its splendid feat of engineering, the bridge has a long history of death and despair, and has a reputation as a suicide hotspot. Even when it was being constructed, it said one of the workers fell to his death and sunk into the wet cement below. That's, uh, that's very believable. Especially, you know, if the bridge was built way, way, way back, you know, when? Because, you know, like, 40, 50, 70 years ago, the safety regulations and, and those kind of things didn't really exist that much. So the odds of someone uh, dying while working on this is very high. After its completion in 1912, and during the Great Depression in the early 1930s, a high number of jumpers were recorded, and one in particular was very sad. A young mother called Martel Ward took her three-year-old daughter Louise to the bridge with the intention of ending both their lives in 1937. She threw her baby first and then jumped herself. Miraculously, Louise hit a pepper tree that broke her fall and she landed on soft earth. She lived? Myrtle wasn't so lucky and plunged 100 feet to her death. Wait, which, which one was which? The baby lived or, or the, um, the mother lived? I don't know. Today, the problem of the bridge is so bad that recently, the authorities have erected eight feet barriers to try and deter people from taking their lives. And scattered around the bridge are crisis hotline numbers and appeals. So knowing the history of the bridge, this footage is particularly eerie and worrying. It shows Cora MK2 riding with his friends across the bridge. I saw someone when there. When a young girl comes into shot, she has a flowery dress on and is just stood alone near the fence smiling. As the bikes pass, they become concerned that maybe the girl is thinking of jumping, so they stopped to go back and make sure she was okay. But on their return, she is nowhere to be seen, not e When the, uh, the camera guy, like, saw her originally, like, I saw it, but then when he turned his head to look at her again, she wasn't there. So that, that's pretty crazy. Even on the bridge. No suicides were recorded after the sighting, but Cora MK2, whose original video you should watch to get more of an understanding on the situation, can't understand where she would have gone, since she most likely couldn't have walked off the bridge in the time they turned back around. So who was she? Why was she alone on the bridge at night? And what was her intentions? Some think she could have even been the ghost of a previous jumper. If anyone recognizes her or knows what happened, 
how can you recognize her? Her whole body was blurred out through like the majority of this. Then it would be good to solve this mystery. All right, so that was uh, that was pretty creepy to say the least. But then again, I mean that's what I expect from you know top five's creepier videos. They're normally quite freaky, but nonetheless, I hope you like this. Let me know what you think these were. I don't know. I don't know. It, it's all terrifying. But uh, with that being said, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, possibly share it with a friend if you're new, and subscribe to join the family today, and also make sure you go subscribe to Top 5's, so links in the description. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Boop.